my name is Kevin McKenzie. When I started to DJ and collect music, I became fascinated with how drums, rhythms, and music can make us want to dance and move our bodies, connecting us together to something deeper. The energy and vibe that's created when people come together and share music can be extremely powerful, and dancing is an integral part of the music experience. It's something that taps into our tribal roots and is a way for us to let go of our daily lives and express ourselves, which is an essential part of being human. Music and dancing are part of our global culture, and more than ever, I've come to appreciate it for what it gives us. A connection to our past, a connection to each other, and a connection to ourselves. It's what unites us together. This is what makes it so difficult today, because this past year has been silent, leaving us unable to come together and share music. We're losing this part of ourselves and a significant part of what it is to be human, and our connection to each other is fading, but we need to remind ourselves that things will get better. So I dedicate this film to all the music fans, artists, promoters, dancers, and DJs around the world to help remind us of what music really means to us all, how important it is, and what we really have to look forward to, and connect us once again as we wait to be reunited on dance floors everywhere. To explore these ideas, we've come to the Mind Riviera, a magical place with an energy and history you feel as soon as you arrive, a place that has been home to native cultures for over a thousand years. To talk with music artists and see what they think about the connections between tribal culture and electronic dance music, and what part does DJing and dancing play in this story? Music for a lot of us is an escape from everyday life. You know, music for me um, became more uh, um, than an escape, it became like a creative outlet. Music brings people together. It brings happiness, harmony, unity. There's no barriers, color, gender, race. It's the unification of life. There's an energy that comes with people getting together. When you have so many people doing the same thing or drawn to the same thing, I believe that creates an energy, something that you can't really feel or touch, but it's there. We create that energy, all of us together, uh, combined with, with what's around us. The connection is dancing. It doesn't matter what kind of culture. So everybody loves to dance. You have a free spirit when you dance. You want to share dancing with people you don't know. You don't even need to know the language of the person that's next to you and be able to feel that same feeling. And that's also really powerful. It's probably the, the most powerful thing. It's a very primeval thing, I think, dancing to music. And that's such an essential part of humanity. It's one of those things that's universal across cultures. It's algo que el ser humano hace desde que existió en la tierra, ¿no? El bailar. El bailar, cuando tú estás bailando, hay un montón de sensaciones que se despiertan en tu cuerpo que te hacen te hacen olvidar los problemas. Without dancing, the life would be so boring and so empty. I think it's a ritual thing, no? People have always liked to dance. It's a celebration of life or it's it's an expression and it's what, what, what people do to to express their tribal roots. It's people hopefully enjoying themselves and and having a good time. It's about being there for that moment of the music and in the environment that you're in with like-minded people. That's really important. So you're really pretty much all there for the same reason. Friends are made on the dance floor that stay together for, you know, years and years based on that connection. And um, I think people would always want to have a dance if there's good music there. It's still a way for people to let loose and be able to create a connection with each other. It's like an innate thing that humans have. It's a way of kind of breaking down social barriers. People have always wanted a sense of release. Going back hundreds of years, they want to go have a good time. And, you know, dancing and music and rhythm are all the things that go together. Unfortunately, I don't have any rhythm. I can't dance to save my life. We are drawn to things that alter our consciousness. And I think dancing to it can do that. You can, especially with dance music, you kind of can get into a bit of a, a trance-like state. We all use music and we all use uh, these shared experiences, these communal experiences, as um, a way to escape our, our troubles. If you understand the music and, and you enjoy the music, it, it definitely will take you uh, places out of your ordinary life. Una manera de conectar y como una manera de, de dejarse llevar por algo que es tan Eh, primitivo como la música. Pues es algo natural y algo que nos hace, que nos gusta, de, de repente nos, nos pone la piel de gallina o nos hace, eh, nos hace tener sentimientos. Todos tenemos como 
canciones que nos recuerdan exactamente a, a momentos de nuestra vida y a sentimientos. Lo escuchas una canción que te gustaba mucho hace 10 años y te lleva de vuelta a ese, a ese momento. Y eso solo lo hace la música. Que te hace bailar, ya no solo bailar, sino que te hace pensar, te hace eh, elevarte y llevarte hacia, hacia otro estado eh, emocional. Tiene unos componentes eh, fortísimos. El hombre es un animal social. Y cuando bailamos, no nos gusta bailar solo, siempre nos gusta bailar, compartir la experiencia del baile, de escuchar la música, de movernos con otras personas. Entonces al final es una cosa positiva, ¿no? Para mí, mi my, my favorite quote es lo que Q-Tip dijo en Tribe Called Quest. Él dijo, el mundo es un poco frío y el ritmo es mi blanket. ¿Sabes? Y para la música, nos gusta olvidar, you know, we want to forget about the world for that time when cuando when we had a party o we listened to a DJ. You know, or we're just having this, this such the spiritual experience where you just kind of lose yourself. It's always been like that. The world's quite a stressful place, and I think dancing allows you to escape that. It's a release. I think more than ever, you know, we're living in such complicated times. I don't think it matters where in the world you are. When the music comes on, you're able to just forget it, maybe even just for a night. We express ourselves through music. We we've used those tools, the power of music, and to, to express ourselves through the culture as well, and especially being here in such a prolific spot in Mexico. This area in Mexico, in the Caribe, is an area very powerful. It has a lot of force, this destiny. It has its energy. The Ribera Maya has something very special, and it feels. I tell you that I am Mexican. Perhaps there is some sort of a spiritual connection um, between the rich ancestry of the Mayans who, who were here to what's happening today. Maybe feel that energy and use that energy as inspiration. I think this whole region is a really magical spiritual place. I think people feel that energy. There's a lot of Mayan, you know, spiritual spirituality and shamanistic culture here. And I think that leads itself into everything in the town. Nuestros antepasados, los Mayas, siempre utilizaron ceremonias, tanto de danza, rituales, y, y todo esto que a lo largo de los años ha, ha influenciado. We think there's a huge connection culturally between dance music and tribal culture. Dance culture is tribal, not just in the sounds of music, but in the essence of bringing people together. The kind of electronic music that you're hearing today has a direct correlation to that, that origin point. Y si es verdad que hay una conexión entre lo tribal y la música electrónica. Cuando pones un tema que tiene más tribal o, o más percu, la gente se viene arriba instintivamente, ¿no? Que fue lo primero que hizo el hombre cuando, cuando golpeó un palo con, una, con un tronco, ¿no? Es marcar el ritmo, ¿no? Es, y ya con eso bailaban. For thousands of years, you know, since the dawn of man, I think, humans would gather, share stories, share dancing, share, share music, you know, in all its primitive forms. I think it's in our DNA from thousands of years ago. You can't take that away, you know. As soon as you hear the drums, the beats, your body instantly does that. Estoy seguro, es un instinto que tenemos de, no sé, igual estás en alguna vez, escuchas algo, estás moviendo la cabeza, o estás, sabes, es, es claro, es instinto, es, eso es seguro. The sound and frequencies that we're putting out there, be it whether it's coming from a tribal guy and, and, you know, banging a drum to whether it's coming out of some nice big state-of-the-art speakers, you know, it's essentially the, the same thing. A lot of those primitive forms were based around repetitive, tribalistic uh, music. Beating a drum, you know, with people around it is the backbone of what house music is. There is something that we can't explain, that is in us, that is attraction for the por las frecuencias graves, ese boom, boom, ese bombeo del, del sub-bass. Lo que hace que nos, que nos movamos, ¿no? el, el, las frecuencias graves. Eso es lo primero que hace que el cuerpo eh, se empiece a mover, cuando tú sientes ese, ese ritmo dentro. That, that, that whole kind of natural rhythm, like 120 BPM, like that's our you know, heartbeat, and that's what house music is, and that comes from what we've been going for thousands and thousands of years. So. Like it's, it's embedded in human culture, like human race. But whether it's tribal, whether it's drums, you know, people are gonna circle around and start moving their bodies to it. It's a gift from God. It's that whole collective energy of love and excitement and wanting to hear the music that brings people together and, and, and you feel that intense energy flowing uh, around. It's magical and very euphoric, uh, very transcendental if, 
if I might say so. The exact reason why I became a DJ is because I felt that and I didn't ever want it to stop, that feeling. So I made it my life. The DJ controls the atmosphere, the vibe and can take you on a journey. For me, the work of DJ is the work of the person who makes forget to other people their problems and spend a good time listening to music and creating something that they can only be able to listen to in that moment. He's the guru. ¿no? Es el que lleva, el que dicta el ritmo de, de toda esa masa que, se ha, que ha decidido juntarse para, para bailar y para tener una experiencia. ¿no? Los DJs hoy día pueden ser considerados chamanes electrónicos, ¿eh? porque al final de cuentas están guiando ceremonias. Tú estás dominando a la gente durante ciertas horas y esa dominación se consigue a través de la música, a través de los sentimientos, a través de la energía que tú y tu música transmita. El DJ es la persona que está marcando el ritmo de esa experiencia durante esas horas que la gente va a bailar. ¿no? Es el maestro de ceremonias, es quien lleva el ritmo, quien lleva la pauta, es el director de orquesta. It's always a challenge night in and night out to be able to push the boundaries and to, to, to make people to dance. It's important for a DJ to be able to understand that, you know, from the beginning to the end of the night, being able to take people on a musical journey, sort of tell a story you know, with the music. And that's what I mean about being a difficult because a lot of people can just play music, but a lot of people are not really in tune to being able to tell a story. I think it's education and entertaining as well. I mean, I think people want to go away, leaving the night blown away, saying I had a great time. But also, you know, I think you want, you've got to throw in, uh, you know, a fair amount of new music that makes them think. You want them to leave that dance floor going, I don't know what those records were, but I want to try and find out what they were. That's the key to a good DJ, having a, you know, a, a good program of, of, of uh, music within his set. It's all about togetherness as well. Yeah. You know, it's about bringing people together, um, making everyone feel like, you know, they're with you musically and just, you know, everyone's just on a good positive vibe with each other. It's a feeling that you're listening to people who are feeling something that you're listening to, that you're listening to, that you're listening to, that you're listening to, that energy to the audience. We feel that energy when we're performing in front of an audience and uh, we're only as good as, as the kind of energy that's coming at us from, from our audience. If there's a connection, it creates a, a very special union. I was trying to be connected and and doesn't matter if I play for 500 or 4,000 or 5,000 people, I always pick some guys in, in the crowd and try to be with them connected. Sometimes you pick certain people out and it's like, I'm oh, playing records for him, you know, or she's going up, man, you know, and it's like, you know, and I, and I just connect. Y como los mayas hacían conectar y que todo, toda la tribu, toda, toda la gente sea eh, una misma, ¿no? I'm a dancer, I like to dance. And when I dance, I have moments, I just close my eyes and just go with the music. I think it's, it's the same vibe of tribal. I go straight onto the dance floor when I get into a club and have a little dance. That's the first thing I do, I still do that. I actually walk around the dance when I listen and I get a vibe, I just try and understand the vibe of the room. And then yeah, I just play and, and just try and connect with people, you know? It's a journey, you can explore yourself, you can throw your hands in the air, you can dance, you can jump, and you can dream. You could see how music brings people together. It unites an energy of, of smiling and fun and laughter. Music makes the people come together. Wait, music is the answer. <laughs>